We are doing a highly anticipated feeding my exotic animals. Oh yes, yes, so good, so good. Here, take it, take it, take it. Nebula just got introduced to chicken, so let's see if she wants some here, mama. Shooky! Ow! What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, well you will know for today's video we are doing a highly anticipated feeding my exotic animals. You guys have been asking for it and it is here. Today we're going to be going around and feeding some of my exotic animals. We've got sloths, we've got lemurs, we've got capuchin monkeys, servals, clouded leopards, and a plethora of animals here that we're going to be feeding. So guys if you want to see me feed some of my exotic animals that live here on my preserve. Well, guys, you are in the right place. We're gonna hop right into that and go in and feed the servals. Well, guys, it is just about time to feed our first animal on today's video, which is my servals. The servals are here. They're waiting for their breakfast. Now, the servals are pretty food aggressive, so we actually have my mom on food duty. Hello, hello. hello. Thank you for helping me out. So basically what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna close my mom out right now. We've got the serval food, so this is the same, you know, Zupreme exotic cat food diet. So, mom, I'm gonna have you wait right okay. here. All right, she's gonna wait there with the food. This is like a, a, a tedious process to feed these servals. So what we're gonna try and do now is we're probably just gonna let both of them in at once. Oh my goodness! For some reason, these servals have gotten food aggressive, but we gotta get one of them back in here. Hello, hey, come on, get back in there. No, go in the room. Oh, no, go in, go in, go in, go in. No, oh, come on, guys, come on, come in. Go this way, go this way. Oh, no, come on. Hey, we're, we're, we're getting fed this way, hello, hello. No, no, come this way. Hi. Oh, we got Mr. Cheech Man and Chong. How you guys doing? Okay, I gotta get these cats in the room. All right, we've got Mr. Cheech Cheeto Man inside of. Hey, don't bite my mic. We got Cheeto Man inside of his room. We've got Chong Man here, and we've got to actually distract Chong. So, all right, um, not yet, not yet. Okay, Mom, you can come. We've got Chong Man. I've got Mr. Chong. All right, we're gonna put the food down. There you go, Mr. Chong. Chong gets a little bit food aggressive, but that's normal for these servals. You know, we've been trying to curb it, we've been trying to hand feed them as much as possible, but these cats right here are just, you know, a little bit food aggressive, that's just how it is with them. Theo Jr., come on, oh, where are you going? Did Theo, Theo, <laughs> you're a traitor, why would you, you left me. You left me for her, what the heck, man? Why did you do that? Theo Jr., Theo, will you come? Theo, you want to come here? Theo, oh yes, you, you came to me, Theo Jr. Thank you, Theo, man, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, mom, here's the food, same process. Now this is, again, it's gonna be a little bit of a process. We've got some crazy, crazy servals in here. All right, we're going, we're going, and we've got the food. Cheech Man is eating his food. It looks absolutely delicious. Look at that, good, yummy stuff. Cheech, oh, why are you being so food aggressive? Cheech is eating, and so is Mr. Chong Man. The little traitor left again. You? Hey, hey you. You right there? Hey. Theo Jr. man. Theo. You're a traitor. Well, Theo has never seen crazy animals like these crazy servo kids, so I think, I think, do you think Theo needs a little treat? He does. Yeah. He needs a puff. Yeah, guys, we're gonna go get Theo some puffs. I've got the puffs right here. It's basically the same thing you'd give a baby. We got some Gerber puffs, a little sweet potato flavor one. Let's pop that lid on off. And this right here is what I'm talking about. We got our puffs. They're looking absolutely delicious, so we're just gonna take some of these puffs and let's uh, let's just put some on the lid right now. Let's get a couple out here, and we're gonna see if, oh, they fell on the floor. We're not gonna use those. We got our two sweet potato puffs. Now we gotta make sure that these puffs right here, let's see, bring Theo over here. Well, I gotta make sure these puffs are not poisonous. Let's see. Okay, they're not poisonous. They're not bad. Theo Jr., I am so sorry. You got a little scared with those servos, so I will reward you with your very own puff. Isn't that yummy? Oh my goodness, his favorite treat. Theo is about four and a half months old right now and he's just starting to eat some solid foods. He loves his puffs, he loves some chopped apples and all kinds of good stuff. Theo, that's some yummy stuff, right? Can I see your little monkey teeth? Can I see your teethers? Oh look, no, you're shy, you're shy. Mom, can you show us his monkey teeth? Let's see Theo Jr.'s monkey teeth. Oh, look at his little teeth. So cute, so cute. All right, mom, you have Theo Jr. You think you got him under control? Yes. All right, my mom's got Theo Jr. under control, so guys, I'm gonna head on out and feed the lemurs. We've got our lemur food, we've got the bowl, we got fruits, vegetables, monkey biscuits, all kinds of good stuff, and we have two hungry lemurs. Now, Rue and Rufus are actually living together now, so they're together, they're best buds. Let's open on up, let's go on in. How you doing, kiddos? Rue, Joseph, Rue, come on. Oh yeah, we got you, Rue. 
Rue, you want something to eat? Oh my goodness. Now, I'm not sure if the camera's focused. If it's not, sorry guys. We've got some hungry lemurs. Let's put the bowl on down just right here. Here you go, kids. So it's really amazing to have Rue and Rufus together right now. Hi, Rufus. How you doing, buddy? Oh my goodness, my little boy. Mm. Getting to wake up every morning, bring these little lemur kids breakfast outside is just absolutely incredible. They're just sharing a bowl together and this is what exactly what I wanted. I wanted these two to bond, to have a great relationship with each other so they can one day make some more lemur babies because lemurs are a critically endangered species. There's not too many lemurs left due to deforestation, poaching, human activity on the island of Madagascar. So every one of these guys is a special one. Look at Rufus, he's chowing down, he's munching and look at you, Rue. Rue, is that a good is that a good cantaloupe is that good here i have another piece for you rufi rufis can i can i have these Ru wait wait oh my goodness rufis rufis will you we oh yes yes so good so good you guys are just so adorable and enjoying the fruit that's just so good right okay yeah rufis go get your fruit before she eats it Ruf, where, where are you going all right bye guys bye you enjoy your food and guys don't get into a fight we fed the lemurs and now it is time to feed Simon the rescued marmoset. Simon is a five-year-old marmoset. Well, Simon is actually a girl. She was rescued by me. She was actually surrendered to me by someone that had her for five years, didn't know what they were doing, feeding her the wrong diet. We have her back on track. And of course, I've got Theo Jr. Theo, where are you? What is it, Theo? So we've got some sneak snacks for Simon over here. We've got some worms right here. We got a whole thing of worms right here. And these are super worms that we feed out to just a lot of the animals here. You guys can see these worms, they're crawling, they're going, and I think, I think Theo Jr. is interested. Theo, Theo, you want, you want, you want one of these worms? Look at the worm, Theo. Here, Theo Jr. Theo, Theo man, Theo. Oh, it's a worm, Theo, you want it? You want to sniff it? No, no, okay. Theo, wait, oh, oh, Theo wants it. Theo, are you holding it? Theo. Take the worm. You want to try and play with it? Oh, it fell. So we've got some worms right here for Simon the rescued monkey. So we're going to take like three or four. I'm thinking like this much. And yeah, monkeys do eat worms. They do eat protein. Let's see. Hello, Simon, Simon. Hello. Simon goes crazy for these worms. Oh my gosh, we got your favorite treat. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is so yummy. So delicious. Oh my goodness, look at that. Some delicious worms right here. Now Simon's enclosure is almost done. Originally Simon was gonna go in this new enclosure that we're just finishing up, but instead of that big giant enclosure, which is honestly really big, it's a little too big, we're actually gonna be putting Simon over here. We just gotta build a double door in here, but I think Simon the marmoset's gonna love it. This is like a marmoset mansion right here. This is a great marmoset enclosure. It's nice and big. He can get shade up high there. I think Simon is gonna absolutely love it. Guys, what do you think? We're gonna try and work on it and finish it this week we just got to put a double door entry because if we don't have that simon could run out and bolt as soon as we open the doors but we've got the remaining treats i know you're waiting for the treats hello hello oh my goodness oh my gosh ow that your nails are sharp what the heck okay take that worm oh you dropped you dropped it here take it take it take it take the dang worm take it there you go that's so yummy so delicious here i have another one for you i have another worm i have another one. Oh, there you go that's so good isn't it that's so yummy oh my gosh so yummy you want to say hi to the marmoset theo doesn't know what to think of the marmoset theo you want to say hi to simon don't no don't reach out to simon we're not doing that we're not going to do that theo what is that what is that thing right there theo what could that be what is that simon is enjoying the snack you can see he's just munching on that worm and marmosets are one of many primates that actually eat the worms. And one day when Theo Jr. is a little bit bigger, Theo will actually eat those worms as well because a lot of these new world monkeys, like capuchins, marmosets, squirrel monkeys, they actually eat protein and require protein as a part of their diet to grow so they can be strong, healthy monkeys. So now that we fed the lemurs, we fed the servals, Simon the marmoset got some worm treats. Well, we've gotta go and feed the parrots. One minute, 37 seconds later. We've got our parrot food. We've got some super high quality, good parrot pellets now. About four days a week, along with the pellets, I feed fruits, I feed vegetables, and even a little bit of seed. But today is one of those days that it's a pellet day. Now we're gonna give them some treats throughout the enclosure. Now again, these are not the nicest parrots if you've been following the channel. All right, we've got some parrot pellets right here. We're gonna give some snacks from the outside. Hey, colleague. I've got something for you, colleague man. Come on. Hey, don't bite your friend. Don't do that. Come here. Come get a pellet. He's coming. Guys, we might lose a finger. These parrots are not too nice. Here, I got something for you. 
Oh, yummy. So good. So good. And look, I have one for you too here. Oh, so yummy. So good. All right, kids, here you go. We're putting our parrot food in here. And we actually gave him some branch enrichment yesterday. We, we cut down some of these branches, so we actually stuck it in here, and the parrots actually went to town on it. They absolutely loved it. That is such a yummy pellet. You enjoying it, buddy? Oh, okay. All right. All right. We're Bye. Bye. You see what I'm talking about? I didn't have a treat. I put the camera up. He tried to take my camera out, guys. That parrot right there, he's not too friendly. So last but not least on today's exotic animal zoo feeding, I am gonna be feeding Nebula, my clouded leopard. And well, we're gonna have to pass Theo Jr. off to my mom. I'm not taking Theo in there because Nebula, she might wanna eat Theo. All right, all right, we're here with Nebula, the clouded leopard. And look what we got here. We've got a nice little morning time snack. We've got some red meat mixed with chicken. Now this is literally A5 Wagyu steak that was donated to me. Shout out to Lamello's Meat Market. They hooked it up. Hey, Nebby. You want to try a piece? Here, here. You want some? Nebby, you want to try that? Oh, 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 oh. Here, you want that? You know you want to eat that. You know that's some good A5 Wagyu. Guys, we only feed our animals the best here. All right, if you're going to drop that, I'm just going to come on in. I'm going to, oh, she's chewing it. She's got it. She's chewing it. She's loving it. Nebula, I'm going to come on in, okay? Come here. Come here, have some. Oh, and there she goes. Look at this acrobat. She's, <laughs> in almost instantaneously, she's way up at the top. So I've added a lot of stuff from the last time that you guys have seen, but here, let me, here. Oh yeah, look at that, oh yeah, look at that right there. Nebula's loving her food, she's loving the red meat, and you can see we've given Nebula all kinds of platforms because the clouded leopards in the wild spend most of their time up in the trees. So she's up in here, she's enjoying life, and then this is just her temporary cage until the spring. Then we're gonna be building her something massive, something incredible, let's bring the meat this way. Nebula just got introduced to chicken, so let's see if she wants some here, mama. Oh, there you go, you ate it, so good, so good. One of my favorite things is actually seeing Nebula use the platform that I actually built for her. So she's using this little platform step up right here, and I also built this incredible platform for her right here. So she's actually able to hang out up here and then she's able to actually run up the branches. Here, show them what you do. Come on this way, let's go, let's go. Run up the branch, come on. Nebula, look at that, you did so good. You ate all your meat, you did great. So we're just gonna leave Nebula up there. I think it's time for her nap time. So she's just gonna hang out in there and well guys, I'm going to head on out. So now that we fed Nebula the clouded leopard, well guys, we have got our last animals for today's video and that is my sloths. All right, we're about to head into the sloth enclosure and for those of you that are new to the channel, well, we've got our sloth food right here and the sloths are literally right off my house. So you can see we're literally in my house right now. We're in here. And there's the sloths, they're just hanging out. We've got my favorite sloth boy, Beansy. Hello, Beansy boy, hello. We've got Beansy, then we've got Sid right there, and then we have Suki now. The lighting's a little bit off in here right now just because it's uh, the sun's coming in. How you doing, guys? How you doing? And we have a nice sloth diet right here. We've got kale, zucchini, squash, sweet potatoes, carrots, and leaf eater biscuits. Now, we're going to be feeding my favorite boy, Beansy. Hi, Bean. Hello, Bean. Are you camera shy? I think he's camera shy. Shooky! Come here. One. Oh, yeah, it's so good, so yummy. Suki is enjoying her carrot. She's chowing down. We've got Sid and Bean. What are you doing, man? What are you doing in there? I mean, just look at their little vampire teeth right there. Open up, buddy. Look at those teeth right there. They're meant for crunching and munching down on leaves and branches. Oh, my goodness. Look at those teeth. Absolutely insane. You guys are you're so cool, buddy. I love you, Bane. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video where I got to feed some of my animals here at Jacob's Jungle. If you guys enjoyed today's video, well, please make sure to go give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to go right now and comment down below what animals do you want to see in the next feeding video because, of course, we could not get to all of them because there's just so many animals here. So that is a wrap, guys. And again, if you're not subscribed yet, you want to see more animal feeding videos, you want to see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. Well, guys, go right now, hit the subscribe button, Tap that little notification bell and you will be notified whenever I post 